Kia ora from Auckland, New Zealand. Being here is the reason why I can't be with you tonight, but it's a great honour for my book to be the recipient of the inaugural Highland Book Prize, a prize whose existence I very much hope continues in the years and decades to come to celebrate literature inspired by the Highlands, a place whose very mention makes people around the world acquire a dreamy look. In other words, a place that is imaginatively charged, but often subjected to cultural cliché. And this is why it's so important, I think, to encourage those dimensions of Highland culture that go beyond the cliché. Border would have been a very different book, I think, had I not become a resident of the Highlands seven years ago. Living in the Highlands attuned me to the precious fragility of our natural environment and also made me witness, in the last few years, the assaults of large-scale industry on what I would call sacred landscape. The periphery is often sacrificed, it seems, to the interests of the center. Geographically remote places have different frequencies. They are the frequencies of less told histories, less heard voices, of, quote, how the densely forested landscape of memory and storytelling roots us, even in the places from which we have been uprooted, unquote. These are the words of the literary critic Sarah Churchwell. So from one periphery to another, this has been my trajectory as a writer. And gathering the stories of the border really made me see the relativity of these categories. Peripheries are imaginatively powerful precisely because they are removed from the centers of power and because they offer a radically different perspective, one that can even challenge, challenge preconceived ideas and simplifies version, simplified versions of both the past and the present. And lastly, I'd like to acknowledge the wonderful work of the Scottish Refugee Council by donating half of the prize money to them. Thank you very much.